Zebra Kata Balarabash. Can you just pray in other tongues for one minute? Rakata Bada Gasha Bragada Balada Bakata Fragada Bellade Bokoso from the Kata Balada Bakasha Pekaya. Mam Brakata Bakata Fragada Bellade Boso Brekata. Ragada Bragada Balada Bokoso Fragata Gada Bellade Bosch. Kembras Kataba. Rakata Baba Baba Kata Yaraba. Rata Braska Santa Bakata Fragada Bellade Rakata Bragada Balada Baska Bragada Bellade Rakata Bragada Balada Bagada Bragada Bellade Bokoso Fragada Bellade Rakata Balada 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 the fiery presence of the Holy Ghost. You have taken all the glory, you have taken all the praise, you have taken all dominion, you have taken all the praise, and you have made them yours. You have made them yours. I is praise to the King. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. You have taken all dominion. You have taken all the praise. You have made them yours. I is praise to the King. You have made them yours from everlasting to everlasting thou art God blessed be the name of the Lord blessed be the rock the one upon whom we stand blessed be the name of the Lord hallelujah Hallelujah. We have no ministry without his presence. We have no message without his presence. His presence can do more than a thousand words can speak. Moses said, do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us. For how shall they know that we are a separated people? How shall they know you are distinguished for your glorious presence? We thank you for your presence, that majestic presence. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. When you cultivate the art of God's presence, you will walk in dimensions of the spirit that will make you afraid because you are operating with a backing that no power in existence can limit. The preaching of the word is not about English. No, no. Otherwise, some of us will not be in ministry. But Paul said, when I came to you, I did not come with the excellency of speech. But I came with the demonstration of the spirit. That your faith will not be upon the wisdom of a man, but upon the power of God. What you see happening in this place, that effect on your body, that effect on your mind and your spirit that you cannot help, this is not psychology. This is the manifest presence of God. For when he shows up, both animate and inanimate things, no matter how hardened your heart is, the Bible says that his presence, even the mountains harder than your hearts, keep. 
This is why we cultivate the art of his presence. We have no message without his presence. In a generation and time when everybody wants to say something, everybody is saying something. Elihu said, I heard you speak and so I kept quiet because I thought you were older than me and you should have something to say. But Elihu was quick to note to them that when it comes to the realm of delivering the wisdom of God, it's not about age. He said, but there is a spirit. There is a presence that can tabernacle in a man. And the inspiration that derives from that presence can make any man of understanding the capacity to comprehend spiritual things and deliver them with accuracy such that you can walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit and grant that the things that the Holy Ghost wants in the lives of the people are the things that are delivered. You become an oracle void of the capacity to minister on your own. The Bible says our sufficiency is not of ourselves. We didn't call ourselves. It says our sufficiency is of God. Who has made us qualified. Ministers of the new covenant. Not after the flesh but after the spirit. For the letter killeth but the spirit gives life. Thank you for the privilege. Without the presence of God. You won't be here. That presence. This has been my message for years. If you lose the presence of God, the psalmist said, cast me not away from your presence. And Cain departed from the presence of God. Cast me not away from your presence. Let it rain. Let it rain. Yeah. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain. And he showed me a river that flowed from the throne. As clear as crystal. And it flowed to the tree of life. And the leaves of that tree was for the healing of the nation. Let it rain from your throne. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let it rain like the dew of heaven. Let it rain until the Spirit be poured upon us from on high. And then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine. And then the fruitful vine be counted for a forest. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Can you just be silent? Just play keyboards, just play anything. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is healing in your name. There is deliverance in the name of Jesus. Le Mariana Mosona na Mariana na na Mosera na 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 ya. Se na na Mosuma na 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 Mosia. Just be still in His presence. Yeah. 
There's a sounds in the spirit. My anana mosu nani anana mosu di anana nai. Je nana na mosu pari anana And be not drunk with wine wherein in excess, but be ye filled with the spirit, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making melody in your heart unto the Lord. Just leave her alone. She nani anana mosu nani anana. She nene ni anamo su kari anana. She mari anamo si araya. And ye are come out to Mount Zion, the place of the firstborn, where there are innumerable companies of angels, the spirits of just men made perfect. She nama kari anabai. Where the blood of sprinkling speaks. She Mariana Mariana Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possessions. It shall come to pass in that day that the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted. And all the nations shall flow through. She Mariana there is a kind of fire that does not destroy there is a kind of fire that refines there is a kind of fire every spirit that is not of God along this circumference please ushers take note some people are going to be delivered right now from outside lift your hands let the power of God fall every demonic influence or possession of all sorts outside Shataka Parata Rakataya I detroned principalities I detroned powers and rulers I speak against spiritual wickedness in the heavens Now inside this building I pray Everyone under the influence of darkness Bring that lady out Everyone under the influence of darkness Release them now Chains be broken chains be broken upon Mount Zion let there be deliverance chains bring that lady out I proclaim emancipation now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty Satan let God's people go. Let God's people go. Let God's people go. Yokes outside the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shata ta ta ta. Maka pareka rekete makoporiata eke pokoto mabata likete rekete ka mapoto kote rekete ke pariata meko pososo kota rekete beleketa rapariekata outside the fire of the Holy Ghost is falling. Every walk of darkness for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. That he may destroy, annihilate, liquidate the works of darkness. Outside, there is an angel of deliverance. Outside, there is an angel of deliverance. Outside, shake it, take it, reke, take it, repo, shata, Maria, tapa, rakata, break it, telekosia. Say, 
Upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance. I see a chain, and that chain is a snake. Come, bring this lady. So let hope rise. You will leave her right now. Come out of her. Come out right now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Out in the name of Jesus. Go. That devil, you are going. Come out of her right now. Go in the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Come out in the name of Jesus. Go. Go. This is Mount Zion. Where there is deliverance, she's free. You will not hide. Come out. Come out. Take her out. She's going to cough out something. Run with her. She will cough out something. Come. Highest praise to the king. Listen, look at what I'm seeing. A snake is biting this lady. This is why she's holding this. I'm seeing a snake in the realm of the spirit. You're a wicked spirit. Your time is gone. You are leaving now. Out. Come out. Come out of her. With a loud shout, you will go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. You're going. Go. Go. Out right now. Go. Devil of darkness. I challenge you by the power that is in the name of Jesus. You cannot stand. She has come to a place of liberty. You are going now. Now, out of her, out of her. Highest praise to the king. Highest praise to the king. Highest praise to the king. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. I prophesy, everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto you. Everything that was lost shall be restored unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be Flames of fire.
I set you free in Jesus' name. Come out of her now. Out. Out. You cannot hide. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Thou foul devil of darkness. Come out of her. Tata parata iliata. Jembre kataliata. For who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. There is judgment upon you tonight and you will go out of her right now. You have taken all the glory. You have taken all the praise. Let her go. Let her go now. Now. Let her go. Come out of her. Let her go. The name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. And forever he remains Lord in this place. Lord, let this be a place continually where your healing power will find the expression without restriction. Where your ability to deliver will find expression without restriction. Where your grace to change and transform men. We will preach the truth. We will declare your counsel in truth. We refuse to follow the status quo of ministry and society. We choose to be pleasers of the mighty God. Come. Lay your hands on her shoulder. Just lay your hands on her shoulder. No, no, no. Listen. Just lay your hands on her shoulder. I'm seeing a serpent. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a snake. Just keep your hands on her shoulder. Our ushers are anointed people. Full of the spirit of God. You will go where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty hallelujah please be seated God bless you just leave them I welcome every one of you inside and outside those outside can you shout hallelujah God bless you. Thank you so much. Those inside, can you shout praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans 4. I apologize. We will suspend 
our family life series temporarily will resume next month hallelujah we're supposed to be talking about family life and relationship but there is an urgent message in my spirit and so we'll move by the spirit Romans thank you Jesus you deserve you deserve you deserve the lifting of my hands to you you deserve you deserve you deserve the lifting of my hand listen some of you who will be ministers when you become a minister make sure listen to me I'm not speaking to everybody but I'm speaking to some of you who will later have churches and ministries refuse to be like other people you may be strange you may be uncommon you may be criticized but make sure you walk with God consistently don't just try to do things because people do them don't just try to say things because people say them it is they that are led of the spirit that are the sons of God hallelujah Romans chapter 4 Romans 4. Verse 17. If you are there, say amen. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before whom he believed, even God, who giveth life to the dead and call it those things which are not as though they were this is talking about Abraham now who is Victoria 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 come who against hope believed in hope You had a dream yesterday night and a dog was chasing you. Who is that person? You were running to an extent that when you woke up, it was affecting you. Please, who is the person? I'm just flowing as the Lord is showing me. Please make sure you come out. Let's finish the scripture, please. We're out of time. Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations? A lady from Katsina. Is she here? Katsina. Who? Come. Whatever you came to find, you will find it tonight. Coming all the way from Katsina. Look at me. The Lord will do something in your life tonight that will surprise you. Hmm? Can I pray for you? Thank you, Jesus. Hold my hands, both of your hands. Jesus, do something in her life. 
let an anointing come upon you. May it set you on fire. A presence that you cannot understand. I pray. I bless you with a hunger for his presence. I bless you with the spirit of prayer and supplication. I bless you with the spirit of might. May you be strengthened. These hands I'm holding will go back and you will do terrible things in righteousness. I pray for you. And even that yoke of delay upon your life is lifted. It's lifted. Take as many of the messages and take it back to Katsina. This was your intention. The Lord will satisfy your heart. In Jesus' name. Who against all hope, verse 18, believed in hope. You know why they are bowing? Look at this. Let me explain something to you. So that some of you don't just think this is idolatry. Listen. They are not bowing to me. Are you listening to me? Bring the lady who is shouting outside. They are not bowing to me. This is what I want you to understand. They are bowing to the government that is represented in this place. For the Bible says, at the mention of the name of Jesus, is it not written in your Bible that every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess? With everything, come yours is a fire you are not oppressed look at me a fire will come upon your spirit your eyes will open let the veil be opened in the name of Jesus a fire will run from your right leg down to your chest it's an impartation of grace for this has been your hunger you came with a hunger Lord Jesus visit her in the mighty name of Jesus, you will walk in a mighty healing anointing. You will do terrible things in righteousness. I call for the fountain from within your spirit. Let there be a breaking of the outer man and the release of the spirit. We will shout for your glory. With everything, with everything, we will shout Let's continue. I must establish what I'm trying to do tonight. I really wish that we have a lot of time. Someone outside will shout heavily under the anointing. Please, when... When that person shouts, let me have the person here. Just the power and the fire of God at the same time will come upon the person outside. When that happens, let me see the person. Let's continue. 19, and be not weak in faith. He considered not his own body, now dead, when he was about a hundred years old. Neither the deadness of Sarah's womb. 20, are you there? Let's read together. One to read. You can look up. It's projected. One to read. Through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. Next verse. Stop. Just the first four words. One, two. One more time. One more time. One more time. The Holy Spirit began to speak to me. This is not a message to Koinonia. This is a message to the body of Christ. And I pray that it will go far. The same finger that has taken our messages beyond us. Let that invisible hand take this message. Beyond the borders of this nation. In the name of Jesus. The Holy Ghost began to speak to me. How that
how that many believers listen please are unable to walk in the reality of the power and authority of the word because of unbelief and many believers have not yet come to a point where you are convinced about the truthfulness and the reality of the word of God. We sing songs that talk about the power of God. We sing songs that talk about the grace of God. We sing songs about the things that God has done and what he can do. We make seeming confessions of faith. But embedded in our heart is a stronghold of unbelief. And the Holy Ghost began to communicate a lamentation in my spirit that the body of Christ is walking in great unbelief. Great unbelief. Our capacity to trust the word of God enough such that we can allow it to rule our lives. Such that we can stake our lives at the integrity of the word is what is wanting in the body of Christ. That's the person. Bring the person. There is a level of realness. Please look at me. There is a level of realness. It's not just one person. It was an instruction to one person. But the hunger of another person is going to make the person catch the fire. So it will be two people. There is a realness. There is an authenticity about the reality of the spirit. Listen. There is an authenticity about the reality of the kingdom life. That if you shatter the walls of unbelief, it will bring you into a solid experience where you are persuaded that the things that have been written are true. There is a conviction, a solid, grounded spiritual conviction that comes upon your heart. You know that you know that you know. You enter the realm I call the Sabbath of faith. The Sabbath of faith. The rest of faith. You're not trying to doubt. You're not trying to make yourself believe. It has become your present day reality. This is the experience that is lacking in the body of Christ. Let me tell you what we need in the body of Christ. It's not new messages. There are explicit messages. Just switch on your TV. There are all kinds of revelations that come. But what we lack is the ability to stay. Come back. God is not done with you. Look at me. Just look at me. Just look at me. He's not done with you. Just look at my eyes. The ability to be so convinced about the reality of the truth of God's word is one of the highest dimensions that a man can stand in the spirit. He said, Abraham, and being fully persuaded. Being fully convinced. There is a depth of conviction about spiritual realities. Even those that preach great messages, that message has not changed them. There is a conviction. This is a pulpit. There's no message that would change me from knowing that this is a pulpit. There is a rest. I believe. I am persuaded. There are impartations. 
that are just going on because this is a strong message from the heart of the spirit to the body of Christ. Let me tell you something. Demons are not afraid of crowd. That's the reason why through diabolic powers you can get crowd. Demons are not even afraid of powerful words. And the seed is the word. When it was falling on the soil, Satan didn't mind because he knew some would be a waste. Do you know that Satan is not afraid of the word of God? What Satan is afraid is your reception of the word of God such that it becomes living and active. This is what makes him afraid. For even the demons know that Jesus is Lord and they tremble. But it does not change them. Are you listening to me? Oh, Jesus is my healer. Jesus is my provider. Jesus is this and that. We confess it. We have Bible studies explaining certain things. I've been given authority over snakes and scorpions. There is no conviction. Adolf Hitler came out and he believed that the Jews should be annihilated. Based on whatever revelation, he had a solid conviction and he lived his entire life till death attempting to carry out that agenda. Listen, the world is ruled by men of conviction. Satan has a solid conviction that one day he will dethrone God. And that conviction keeps him alive day and night. Regardless of the number of miracles that happen in a crusade ground, Satan has never gone back to give himself worry and ask the demons to retreat. Conviction. If you will believe half of the revelations you know, if you become convicted by their reality, it will change you. Every time I have the opportunity to go and share the word of God, people invite me and they say we are expectant. That's the text they write to me. And then I'm wondering, you are expectant, what are you waiting to see? And they begin to invite their friends. Oh, Joshua Selman is coming. It's going to be a powerful meeting. Have you realized that the most powerful messages that have been preached have lacked the ability to produce the effect that those messages were supposed to carry? We preach powerful messages, solid messages. Many of you believe you are anointed. You believe in the anointing. But you will soon find out that you are just informed that you are anointed. It has not yet become a conviction. But I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Who against all hope believed. And this is the cry of the spirit. There are many things God wants to release to people. There are many dimensions that God wants us to walk. Listen, I write to you, O oh, excellent Theophilus, of all the things that Jesus began to do and teach. Do and teach. We do not have a performance that solidifies our convictions. Many of you are here and you are hearing this word. You are seeing all the miracles and the signs and the wonders. A laughter will come by the spirit. I'm hearing it in the realm of the spirit. A laughter will come by the spirit. And this is a sign. A laughter will come by the spirit. This is not the laughter. There are many sounds. There is a laughter. It's purely by the Holy Ghost. Please just flow with me. This is not a normal, this is not your church. When you come for koinonia, just take away your intellect. Because it will insult it a lot. There is a laughter. Let's continue. There is a laughter. These things are signs and wonders. 
I pray that as you see and watch and hear these things, that the Bible will come alive to you. And you will know that this is not just some religious things. For all scripture was inspired of the Holy Ghost. Holy men moved by the Spirit began to write these things. And for as many who will believe it and walk in the conviction, he is alive and active watching over his word to perform it. That's the laughter outside. That's the laughter outside. Please bring the person. Lift your Bibles, everybody. I'd like you to say after me in the name of Jesus. I believe that the Holy Ghost inspired holy men to write this. And that the truth of God's word is contained in this. Wherever I see it and read it. I will understand and I will believe. Do you know I'm going to say something that will surprise you. The Holy Ghost told me this and it rattled my theology. He said there is only one reason why prayer and fasting was designed in the Bible. Prayer and fasting was designed to attack only one limitation, unbelief. That's all. Hmm. I've read many scriptures that talk about many things that prayer and fasting does. But when you study in the spirit, you will find out that at the heart of everything is unbelief. They could not cast the one with the epileptic spirit. And Jesus said it was because of unbelief. He said, however, this kind goeth not but by prayer and fasting. That means prayer and fasting opens up the reality of God to you. And when God is opened up to you, unbelief, there is a stronger conviction than what your optical eyes and your ears can hear. And based on that, unbelief melts away. You must not have a vision to conquer unbelief. You must not have a vision and a dream. There is an activity of the spirit. For it is God who is at work in us. Both to will and to do. Are you persuaded? Oh, I'm above. We can shout it in church. This is just empty noise. If it does not come from a depth of conviction. How do I know we are not convicted? Because at every given time. We throw away the things that are supposed to govern our life. And we begin to run for something else. As though the word were not true. The Bible talks about men who through faith subdued kingdoms. Who shut the mouth of lions. Wrought righteousness. Women who received their dead back to life and others who died without receiving the promise. They died in faith. These men were convicted. 
I gave this example yesterday. Let me give it again. Sweetheart, please stand up. Come. Everybody look at this lady. Is this a lady or a guy? Answer me. Is this a lady or a guy? If I look at you right now and I'm a medical doctor and I convince you, will I be able to convince you? Why? You are persuaded. Are you trying to claim being a lady? Are you trying to work it out? You have entered the Sabbath of faith. It has become your present day reality. You live by that truth. I know I'm called of God. There is no message that will make me doubt it once. Are you listening to me? This is the dimension that the Holy Ghost has been shouting in my spirit that the body of Christ should enter. Because there is a religious spirit. I saw this in a vision that the Lord showed me. I didn't even know there was a spirit called a religious spirit that has been fired and sent to the body of Christ. Let me tell you what that religious spirit will do. Men who are ever learning, but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. Ever learning. Hallelujah. I was going to minister to one lady. God bless you, my dear. Something happened to me. They brought a lady to me to pray for her for deliverance. And while I began to minister to this lady, the spirits in her began to manifest and they were shouting. They wouldn't stop. Just shouting and talking. And I just decided to keep quiet and listen. The devil is a liar. But under the presence of God, everything tells the truth, including him. Everything. For light cannot stand in darkness. And this lady began to shout and this is what she said. Of course, not her, but these wicked spirits. That there is a strategy from the kingdom of darkness that is being released against the body of Christ. And then the lady just shouted, or the demons now. They just shouted. They said, switch to, is it code 507 something? And then the next thing she just turned. That this thing is a code that had been existing right from the days of Pharaoh. And he said, man of God, you are hearing me. Let me tell you. He said, remember when the children of Israel. This is a lady who normally does not even know half of that scripture. This is the spirit speaking. Attempting to challenge me. Said, do you know that in the days of Pharaoh, when he told the nation of Israel... When the nation of Israel came and Moses came as a deliverer, he said the moment the word of deliverance and healing came, what happened? Pharaoh said, is it not because they are idle? You see that? Is it not because they are idle that they can have the time to do this? What is the strategy? He said, occupy them. Are you getting the strategy now? O give them more work. Let them be more involved that they will be carried away. This was the same spirit that was at work in Martha. Jesus came. There was Mary and Martha. Martha was occupied. And Jesus looks at Martha and he said, Martha, Martha, you are upset. You are worried. You are occupied. This is the spirit. It's a religious spirit. It has been released upon the body of Christ. Ministries are just adding programs. They think it's advancement. This is a strategy from the kingdom of darkness. Occupying more people so that they are carried away. More departments are being formed. More things, activities. This is the same spirit that distracts men. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. He said one thing is needful. In other words, many activities and ceremonies that we do in the body of Christ are totally useless because they are not part of the things that God designed to bring man into his prophetic agenda. Are you listening to what I'm saying? So the consolation is crowd. The man of God is convinced that there is a crowd inside and outside. Thank God for that. But let me tell you the truth. There is a degree of conviction we do not have. Every time I say this, people think I'm being critical or judgmental. 
many of the people that come here and suddenly right where they are the demons begin to leave many of these people